Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Austin back again with another simple tutorial on web development. So in this simple tutorial, as you saw in the title, I'm going to show you how you can create some simple animated social media icons. We're going to be using font on some icons and also the materialized CSS framework. So it's what I use on my website. So let's us head over that side and see what I'm talking about. When I scroll down, to the, in the footer section, I have this simple animated social media icons. So I have Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. So just know there are a lot of icons out there. You can, there is Google Plus, there is LinkedIn. So any social media icon that you know is on that CDN link, the font awesome link that we are going to be using. So right now, I just have simple files, the materialized CSS file and the materialize js file so this is the website that you can get them from materializecss.com so i always show you guys how to download this so for this tutorial you can come to this i'm going to leave all the links in the description below so that you can access these resources so if it's just you are trying out this you can use these online cdn the content delivery network links instead of downloading these files on your local machine so make sure you'll be having the internet to be having these files linked to your page. And I guess that's it. Then for the font awesome CDN link, you can head over to bootrapcdn.com forward slash font awesome. So just when you reach this side, just it will be like this. Just click this icon and it will give you this drop down then select this and it will be copied to your clipboard and paste it in the head section like this you can take out this i don't need this but there is this commented out link and i will show you what it does as we end this tutorial then let us link our files the style that's like materialize.mini.css so we shall use the link tag then specify the folder name of css forward slash then materialize.mini.css so this is the file that we are linking to then I like linking my javascript right before the body closing tag for the script tag you can take out the type attribute or leave it there. So I'm going to use the source attribute. Then here we specify the folder name JS. So this one. And inside JS we have a file called materialize. Dot mini. Dot mini. Dot JS. So we are linking to the JavaScript file. In this we shall be able to have the other animated pulse action that you saw. I'm going to start with some simple div as always to give room to our texts on both sides, right and left. Then we are going to give it a class of container. And I'm going to put some simple h4. And I say animated social media icons. And some simple paragraphs. I like putting fake paragraphs for it to feel like a page. But this is not what has brought us here. So I'm just going to right click, open in browser. So you can go and check where you save that file. So the reason why I put this class of container is to give room to our text both on the left hand side and right hand side. So we're going to place our icons below here. And for that, let me try to scroll down. So I'm going to create an ordered list. And inside we shall be having this list item. And first I'm going to put the a tag or an tag. And right now we don't like you can first leave this one empty because this is where you'll be putting the URL to your social media profiles. So right here, I'm going to write Facebook. 
then allow me copy this i know some guys hate copying but you're just go be going to adding another list item another ang tag then here we put let's say twitter so it's the same you're just repeating ourselves so just copy this repeat it here let's say youtube then instagram then lastly let us add another social media platform and we are going to call it linkedin so right now when we save this we have in this where are they that side are we inside the div no we need to carry this so all our content has to be inside this div with a class of container so let us tab like that i'm going to select these ones and place tab on the keyboard so that's what we are having our simple list items the first thing we are going to do is come to these ang tags the a tag in the opening tag and we give it a class and the first class that we are going to be giving to this list items or oh, sorry the ang tag is btn dash floating so this is the materialized css class that i'm putting here and when we save this we are going to have a simple circle so that means we are going to go on adding the same class to every ang tag so class btn floating class btn floating so to every ang tag btn floating class btn floating so you can see how it's very very simple so when you place this you can see we have those circles but right now they are attached to each other and to do a simple magic in css <laughs> i call it magic so we're going to add a simple custom class there so this is our class it's not a part of the framework so i'm just going to put shosho only that it's custom made made by me and you so we are going to head over to the head section and put our custom style or what they call the internal style tag and we are going to select that class of shosho then this is css specificity then we are going to put li so any element that has a class of shosho and if inside it has this child item or the list item so we shall add some simple padding there let's say five pixels like that so they get some extra padding and let us also increase on the font os font size not the font awesome so the font size of the list items so font size and i'm going to put it to 20 pixels oh i don't know what's wrong with my keyboard 20 pixels my keyboard is having weird day then that's what we are having right now so this is only materia is working let us add that simple animation that you saw the pulse animation so you just go right after and add this class of pulse so go on adding this class to every ang tag so to add a class you just space from the previous class and add that so that's pulse see when we refresh the page shall have that pulse animation and you see how it's very very simple there is nothing much behind this so let us now start working on the icons and the colors of those social media platforms so let's start with facebook and for the icon of facebook right in the middle of the ang tag so the a tag this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag so in between here we are going to use the icon tag which is the i as they say i 
So we are going to give it a class of fa font awesome then fa font awesome dash Facebook. Refresh the page. I refresh the page and we are having that a simple Facebook icon but that's not the color of Facebook and to do that we are just going to add a simple class in this ang tag so this one we are going to add a simple class of indigo indigo refresh the page and that's what we are having but I'm going to make it a little bit darker so materialize CSS has a class of darken and I'm going to set it to 3 I don't know why my number pads freeze when I'm pressing them so as you can see we are having some dark indigo you can see that's the icon of Facebook then let us head over to Twitter and that's going to be very very simple so we are just repeating ourselves so inside this let me stretch out this then inside this ang tag we are going to create another i tag and we are going to give it a class of fa short for font awesome space fa dash twitter then refresh this page and we are having the twitter icon now let's change the color so you go back to this and we are going to say light blue and let us refresh the page and see and that's what we are having then let us add some darkness so I'll also set it to 3 almost we are going to give everything 3 so you can clearly see the icon and that's the Twitter color then <laughs> right now you can complete all these icons but we are going to go step by step you can see how it's very very simple so still inside here the i tag then give it a class of fa fa that's youtube because that's youtube refresh the page that's it. Let's us, let us head over this side. Red. Dark and 3. That's our YouTube channel. Let's head over to Instagram. I. FA. FA. Dash. Instagram. Instagram. refresh the page that's what we are having then for the color I'm going to use the brown color I said that can three oh I think my tab menu has frozen Just refresh this page and this is what we are having right now then let us go to LinkedIn and I'm going to add a simple icon tag here class FA FA dash LinkedIn and this is what we are having and I guess it's going to be taking the same classes with Twitter refresh the page and that's what we are having you can see how it's very very simple to create these simple animated icons so right now you can see these ones are totally different from what I have on my site you can see the Instagram icon and the reason why it's like that it's because right now we are using the latest CDN so on my site I just have the old CDN there so when I activate this take note of the 
Instagram icon here. So it's going to change. Refresh, and you can see. So it's okay if you get different icons depending on when you'll be watching this tutorial. So they always be updating these CDNs that you'll be using. That's that's the reason why I left out the other icon because it's some old version. You can see here it's 4.61 and the latest one here it is 4.7. So if you get different icons, don't freak out. You're on the latest version. So guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it on different social medias and I'll see you in the next tutorials. Peace. Guys, subscribe.